Churna splicing is another rare form of splicing that usually occurs in churna. The splicing reaction involves a different biochemistry than the spliceosomal and self-splicing pathways. In the yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae, the yeast churna splicing endonuclease heterotetramer, composed of SEN54, SEN2, SEN34, and SEN15, cleaves pre at two sites in the acceptor loop to form a 5 half churna, terminating at a 2,3 cyclic phosphodiester group, and a 3 half churna, terminating at a 5 hydroxyl group, along with a discarded intron. Yeast churna kinase then phosphorylates the 5 hydroxyl group using adenosine triphosphate. Yeast churna cyclic phosphodiesterase cleaves the cyclic phosphodiester group to form a 2 phosphorylated 3 end. Yeast churna ligase adds an adenosine monophosphate group to the 5 end of the 3 half and joins the 2 halves together. Now dependent 2 phosphotransferase then removes the 2 phosphate group.